question 16 so uh, for part a write down the probability probability of s dash now this just means the probability that you don't get uh, s now we're told that the event s is two ninths so the prob the probability that you don't get s is the rest so it's a whole take away two ninths so that's one take away two ninths which is seven ninths now for part B we're told that the probability of uh, getting a green block um, well we work out the probability of a green block is 3 out of 9 a white block is 5 out of 9 and a pink block is 1 out of 9 obviously the 9 coming from 3 plus 5 plus 1 now the significance here is having picked the first block he puts the block back in the bag so when you pick your second block you're still choosing out of nine the number of blocks hasn't gone down until eight so we're being asked to work out the probability that it takes one white block and one pink block so two ways of, of ending up with one white and one pink it, you could first of all get a white and then a pink or alternatively you could get a pink and then a white so let's look at the white and then a pink first of all probability of a white is five out of nine and it's and then a pink so for an and you multiply so you multiply by the probability of a pink with your second pick well that's one out of nine and as I said earlier it's not one out of eight because we put the um, the initial block back so it's still one out of nine so the probability of white and then a pink is five ninths times one ninth top times top bottom times bottom that's five over eighty one now the other way we can end up with one white block and one pink block is to first of all get a pink and then a white so we're looking for the probability of a pink and then a white so a pink a ninth times a white five ninths so it's another loss of one times five nine times nine which is five over eighty one so overall when you add fractions with the common denominator you just add the numerators so that's ten over eighty one now for part two we want the probability of at least one of the blocks he takes is white so the probability of at least one of them being white is everything apart from the probability that your two picks are not white so I think the easiest way to do this is just to work out the probability you don't get a white and then you don't get a white secondly so the probability of a white is 5 out of 9 so the probability you don't get a white is the rest it's 4 out of 9 in other words the probability of a green or a purple um, a pink rather a green or a pink so the probability of not a white is 3 ninths plus a ninth which is 4 ninths okay they're the two options which are not a white so what's the probability of not getting a white and then not getting a white well it's 4 out of 9 times 4 out of 9 again because again we put the, the block back into the bag so the probability of not a white and not a white is 4 ninths times 4 ninths which is 16 over 81 but that's the bit that we don't want we want the probability that he takes at least one of the blocks he takes is white so everything else so every other option every other branch on the tree we want this is the one branch we don't want so we take a whole and take away 16 out of 81 well a whole is 81 out of 81 so it's 81 out of 81 take away 16 out of 81 which is 65 out of 81